So I'm just going to show you a little example of how this thing fits together in terms of next best offer. So I'm going to show you a couple of screens about the real-time decisioning system here. So Dave showed you a, a quick demo of the campaign management system, which deals with outbound marketing. This is the same system, it just deals with the inbound decisioning as well. So you've got the, the same users are using the same system, and it's actually quite good in terms of business logic. The main difference, in a way, from the outbound marketing, when you start, you start with 100,000 people, or whatever it is. This is a flow that says one person enters, and what we're going to do is determine which leg of that flow they go down. And that's going to drive the next best offer coming back. Each flow here is, takes the form of a diagram, and each diagram starts with a web service call. So the operational system delivers some data in real time into this flow, and this flow will determine what the format and style of data is that's going back to the operational system. What then happens in the diagram is decisioning about what the values of that data needs to be. So what is the actual offer that goes back? What is the price of the offer that goes back based on decisioning, business logic and analytics combined? But this is next best offer. So here comes the first customer coming in. And the first consideration, because let's say, for example, in this case, it's a, maybe it's a call center. And the call center operator has checked the box that says this is a complaint. So the first decision is, is there selling to be done here at all anyway? Or do we actually have to handle a complaint? And if it is a complaint, that field has been flagged. What is the nature? How valuable is the customer? And what is the severity? How angry are they? which will help determine a whole nest of decisioning going on down here. This is a very simplified diagram. In reality, you would actually pull out a, very, a completely separate sub-diagram and have that as your standard business complaint handling decision flow, which goes across any call. But assuming there's not a complaint, so the next question, the next thing that is most likely to influence next best offer in this instance is, is there anything actually right now in the shopping basket? So if you recall back to my previous presentation about analytics, you'll realize that once you've got something in the shopping basket, the type of analytics that you'll then be using is this association or sequence analysis type of analytics. There's something in the shopping basket, therefore let's promote the following thing as next best offer. The product, in this instance, drives the next best offer recommendation. If there's no complaint and nothing in the basket, there are a couple of pieces of additional technology, one of which I will show you shortly, which will say, has anything significant happened with that customer recently? Now, the first thing that's significant might be something that they've done within the last few days on the website. The last few minutes, even, on the website. Is there something there that's been recorded? And if so, is that an event that will help you determine what an next best offer is? We'll see a little bit more about that one shortly. Nothing happened on the website, but are there any significant trends or patterns in their behavior, first use of a particular service, uh, an accelerating increase in the use of a service at the expense of a different service. Those sort of patterns and trends. If so, has it passed across a boundary that indicates that you should be recommending something? It's another event. I talked about event-driven marketing, 20% response rate. This is the type of thing I'm talking about. In which case, that's the thing that determines next best offer. And what you're doing there, just like the association analysis, you're calling up a table of that information. So you're going and gathering data and using it to determine what goes back to the customer. OK, no complaint, nothing in the basket, <coughs> no significant recent event. Maybe the next best offer should be something to do with a campaign that they have just received through a letter, through a phone call, or whatever. Or, 
a campaign that they are due to be receiving in the next couple of weeks, either to follow up or to soften up and make them ready for it. In which case, because that campaign has been recorded in the outbound system, we can automatically access that. And finally, last, but maybe not least, if none of the above, then it becomes a slightly more generic case of score propensity for that type of product or service, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, stack them all together, work out which one's the most likely or the most valuable, and that forms the recommendation. And most organizations that I speak to actually think that is the first and only thing they should do when determining what next best offer is. It's actually much more interesting than that. So that's a little sneak peek at the real-time decision system.